Father Malachi Martin uh, talking about uh, medical issues after of bodies uh, shutting down uh, organs and things like that. I was wondering if you had any type of medical issues after the fact. Me personally, let's see, I've had a, a couple of heart attacks uh, and that's pretty much about that, um, about it. Yeah. I, I don't know about you, Andy, but other than, other than for me, the only, the only problem I've ever had is, like I said before, holding back school. That's why I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had I had four stents put in. I only had only one, so I got to beat. I had four stents put in my heart. God's always looking out for us, so. though. He's always looking out because I had back pain. Not even back pain, I had back ache. And it's like a, a, a back pain in the middle of my shoulder blade said I just it was never the kind of pain I had before. Every time I laid down, I'd get the pain. So I went to the doctor, right? He said, we're going to end the thing. We've got to end it. I went to the doctor and he says, let's take an x-ray of your neck. Took an x-ray of your neck. Oh, you got a neck arthritis. Almost everybody my age has arthritis in the neck. So he was here to take some prednisone pills and go to therapy, you'll be all right. So I did that. I was doing exercises and therapy. No pain, no pain in my back. So I figured out what it was. Well, I was walking my dog one day in November, it's cold out, freezing. And I, I must have gone 300 yards. All of a sudden, my back started to hurt. My shoulder started to hurt, and I was crouched over like this in pain. And when I said, something's wrong, I get back to the house, hang up the leash. As soon as I hang up the leash, the pain vanished. I knew I had a problem, right? So, and I went and had that done. Why am I even talking this story? And this is my mentor, and I'm learning from him. <laughs> I go off on tangents, I'm almost like resting with you. All right, we are <laughs> We are running short on time, so this is going to have to be the last question right here. When I was five years old. <laughs> so you have the last question, sir. So make it a good one. No pressure on you whatsoever. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. This is for Tony, and uh, I know Judy doesn't like to talk in public a lot, so maybe you can answer for her too. Has uh, you or Judy tried to contact Ed or Lorraine, or maybe Ed or Lorraine had tried to contact Lorraine, you, and Lorraine, uh, had, Lorraine had, uh, go ahead. Lorraine had contact with, with, with Ed uh, after he passed. She was doing an investigation without me. And she said later, she said, I don't know why I didn't call you. It was in, in a place in Trumbull, Connecticut. She said, I don't know why I didn't call you, but I didn't. She was, and I was at the house, and as I was talking to this gentleman, I asked myself, this is after, right after Ed passed, she asked herself, she's standing there, will I be able to continue on in this work and do it without Ed? And she said, almost instantaneously, when she thought that to herself, she felt like sparks of energy circling in her hand. Like some, and she knew, because she's psychic, she knew that Ed was standing behind her and telling her psychically, you could do it without me, just continue the work. And that's what made her continue it. Lorraine, right after Ed passed, I'm sorry, Judy, right after Ed passed, she was home alone one night, and the lights were flickering on and off. And she said, Ed, she said, Dad, stop it, stop it. And she said, it stopped flickering. So, I don't know, I've had dreams, I've had dreams, I had a dream about Ed, Ed saving me from a, a burning building. Uh, this is after he passed. I was walking into a building and it all of a sudden took on fire, right? I was, I was running back, running out of the building. from behind me, was pushing faster ahead. Day. And I said, Ed, you, yeah, who do you think got shot of that building? <laughs> you wonder, you wonder, but she has had, uh, Lorraine has had several times where she saw him. I used to go to the house when Lorraine was um, going through her Alzheimer's and I used to uh, just keep her company. Oh, yeah, Dan, I'm holding back school. <laughs> but, um, so Lorraine and I got really close, but I had a dream that came to me, to my dream, and he said, um, I was knocking on the front door, he answered the door, and he said, you could go home now, son. And I didn't get it at the second, but in the back I saw Lorraine get in dress, put in her scarf on like she was going somewhere. The next day I told Tony about my dream, that, you know, Ed came to me and told me I could go home now, and he'll take care of Lorraine. And I explained to Tony, Tony, I could tell you all his features, what his molars were missing. I didn't know that. And, 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 Tony told me that you know, those molars were missing. And two weeks later, she had passed.